Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight in Toronto where the funeral took place today for 18-year-old Sami Yatim. He was shot to death by a police officer on a Toronto streetcar. So many questions remain unanswered about what happened that night and whether the police used excessive force. But as Christina Stevens reports, Yatim's family says they are seeking justice, not revenge. Mourners didn't want to let go following the hearse as it left the funeral home. Grief written all over the face of Sami Yatim's mother as she struggled forward. The mother, she wanted to walk with her son like to the last step before they take him. An emotional end to a funeral filled with anguish. Hundreds had gathered to remember the 18-year-old. I'm in denial. I'm still in disbelief. I'm in shock. I can't believe that this happened. It feels like he's still here with us. During the entire service, Yatim's mother sat right next to the open casket, constantly reaching out to touch her son. She was just crying and she just says basically, with an Arabic, Habibi, my love, you know, and that's what she was saying all the time. Yatim's sister Sarah called him her hero, saying she wishes every girl in the world had a brother like hers, and she believes his soul and spirit live on. When his sister talked, I mean, everybody was crying, and, and seeing his mom afterwards, just devastated. The priest talked about Yatim's youth. As a child, he went to one of the best private schools in Aleppo, Syria, joined a basketball club, was a boy scout, talented in art, and went to music school to play the guitar. He moved here from the now war-torn country four years ago for the opportunities Canada provides. Friends say he had recently got into some trouble and was known to collect knives and always have one on him, but they say he did not deserve to die in a hail of bullets. The family, sensitive to the growing anger in the city, says they want justice, not revenge, upon the officer who opened fire, Constable James Fursillo, who they have many questions for. I'll say to him, if it was your own child, what would you do? Or what, did you want the, what did you want the police to do? That's all I would want to say. They say they'll work in your team's memory to make sure police get better training so no one else has to go through what they are. The family has chosen to have Yatim cremated so his mother could take him back to Syria with her. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.